man is this little light handy it's rotating compact and I'll be showing you the details and then red light rotating this is the really utility perfect flashlight for the fisherman boater in the morning and late at night. This is the Coast little headlamp, red, white, super light, works super good because you can tilt it, it's rotating. Love it, not only on the boat, but I even used it when I was cleaning the inside of my truck and getting all the sand out and needed it to see up underneath the seats so I could keep my hands free. And it will be on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, but there's a bonus. There's a big bonus. Because you can count on me to come up with stuff that works on the Jetty Wolf, and it would work for you too. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that usage of this cool little product that I've been wanting to pass on to you. I have been using it for several, several days now and carrying it with me. And as you saw in that usage footage, now comes the tabletop show and tell. And what you were looking at was the coast, actually like headlamp. They call it a universal clip 180 degree be adjustable beam, little pocket flashlight. Lately, at the Mayport boat ramp where I put my boat in and I leave from every trip, uh, the power on the lights in the parking lot have been out. With that, you get pure USDA grade darkness, putting your boat in in the morning, early in the morning. Boats in the water, it's dark, dark, dark. Dark 30, as they call it. But what I like to have is some nice little light. Because when I'm down there, I'm pre-rigging, you know, rods and reels and doing things on the boat before customers ever come down. And I found this little coast light. And you saw the footage. This is a close-up of it. That is a... LED, or what they call a cob light. I don't know what the difference between an LED and that is, but watch that little window. It rotates. That's what makes this so nice. You got a front button. There it is. It's on. Double click, I think. There you go. And then you've got a red light. Then on the back, you've got a clip with four little magnets. And right here was sort of a little plastic pad. I took it off, I took it off. But the batteries, it comes with two AAAs, Duracells included. You undo this right here at the bottom. 
and this cap comes off with a tether and there's an o-ring so this is relatively water resistant is as you saw in the footage you snap this on the front of your ball cap and you rotate the light around however you need it and let me tell you if you got nothing to compare it to this may not seem like it's a huge deal but I do have something to compare it to and I will show it to you in a moment this weighs like next to nothing you can you know you can clip it on your pocket you can clip it onto your brim of your hat and it just is really sweet all right so it comes in two flavors this one is a white and a red light and it's got a black button on the front and this one is a white and UV for finding scorpions Ooh, scorpions in the desert you ID card detection or something currency I mistakenly bought this one by mistake I really don't need UV light there's a white there's the UV you just hold the button down and I know you're barely being able to see it and I just blinded myself with the light and you turn it off my only problem with either one of these and let's take the UV one out of the equation here because that's one that I sort of ordered by mistake my only I guess thing that I would tell Coast which makes all kinds of different flats, flashlights, knives, um, all kinds of uh, different pocket equipment, I guess you could say. Lights, knives, and multi-tools. The only thing I would tell Coast at this review right now is, they say it's 80 lumens bright. It's good enough for right in front of you, off of your hat. Put it on your hat, like I had in the video there. It's doesn't, it doesn't pull your hat down. It weighs next to nothing. You can rotate the beam, which is fantastic. Okay, you can rotate the beam. Um, the only thing I would say that is a con to this light. Other people have said, oh, well, the, um, the magnets aren't that strong. Well, they seem to be strong enough, the magnets. Um, is some kind of safety here. Because I like to just throw this in my pocket. All right? When I'm not using it. And if I lean up against something, I'm turning on the light. Just that easy. All right? And I didn't like that. There should be a button like this with a some type of safety built in so i believe if coast wanted to improve this and my beef with it would be have this so you don't bump it and have some type of safety on it i don't know how you would do that because i'm not a flashlight engineer but i know that's what i saw noticed when i was carrying it in my pocket they say it's ipx4 weatherproof Shows it here on a ball cap. Shows it here on a pocket. All right. So it's sitting on your pocket. Clip. I actually like to ha have it in my pocket this way with a clip on the outside. And then I turn the light all the way around. But that's how I noticed it. I bump into something and I turn the light on. So that's the only minor discrepancy that I could find. But that's not all, folks. That's not all. Lifetime warranty, that's a big, big deal of the reason that I purchased this. Because when I buy something, I use the hell out of it. I don't abuse it, but I use it, okay? And when I use something, if the company's gonna stand by what they say, 
see, here it is. This one is the HX4. That's what you're going to want to order. I'll put the links below for everything on this table. The HX4, it's white and red, an LED COB clip light. About 13 meters out in front of you with two standard um, AAA alkaline Duracells. They're saying it's going to last about three hours and 45 minutes with 80 lumens uh, with the universal clip, rotation, and the integrated magnets. Okay. Lifetime warranty from Coast. They're in Portland, Oregon. That's pretty good that they're going to do a lifetime warranty on this little light. But like I said, that's not all, folks. That is surely not all. I also have matched this up. These lights I have matched up with a high trends product triple a usb fast charging rechargeable batteries eco-friendly and no memory effect and low self drainage all right here's the specs i don't think anybody's a real battery geek but that's the specs and uh they say it goes up to about a thousand cycles 1.5 voltage, full, uh, one hour to a full charge in USB. Here they are. This is two of them that come in a four pack. And I just showed this to one of my customers, Aaron. He just was at my house. And what they have is a USB port built right in the side. Now you'll get four just as it says, to match up with your light. You get four of these, and believe it or not, you get this USB right here cable pigtailed off to charge all four at the same time. Is that cool or what? So with these two, we're going to do a short demonstration here of how these work. I'm a little familiar with this because I have other flashlights and I have studied other flashlights that have batteries that are similar to this. So we plug it in like a regular little micro USB or whatever it is here. Plug it on in. Make sure you get it in the right way instead of the wrong way, Dave. Plug it in. Now. We're going to take another big, this is just a Ozark Trail, big uh, LED battery pack light that I have. I'm a bit of a prepper. I'm a bit of a prepper. And we're going to use this as a battery pack because you can charge your cell phones and everything right off of this. It's got a micro USB, it's got a regular USB, it's got charging lights to tell you what the, uh, how much charge is on it. This has got a 100% full charge. And we can actually charge these batteries off of this. Okay. And if we look, they're probably all charged. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be able to show you let me try it again. Let me pull out the one that I've been using and hopefully the batteries will be drained. I just plugged these in and I saw lights come on and I guess they were all full. So let me pull these AAA rechargeable batteries out. The high trends right there. I'm going to take the other two pigtails that are still here and I'm going to plug them in so you can see how it all works see that little red light I'm hoping you can see that little red light right there yep you can see it that's telling you they're charging isn't that cool the technology on batteries there we go there's a red light on that one turn the light off here and you'll be able to see 
There you go. I'm not really sure because I can't remember if they turn green. If they turn green when they're charged or if the light just goes out. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But talk about matching something up. Is that cool or is that cool? Oh, here it is. There they go. These two turned back on. So we have our complete system here, folks. That's the whole deal. We got this high trends comes with these with this cable and the four batteries and I am now sitting here charging all four batteries for my flashlight which I use all the time another use for them besides being out and on the boat you're working on a, your car you're up underneath it gives you a good let's say my face is the camera right here it gives you this much really, really, really good light out here. It extends out. It does extend out. But when you're working on something in front of you, like me rigging rods and reels and doing stuff on the boat in the morning, my gosh, I was just thoroughly impressed. I bought one of these on a whim, and then I saw these on another YouTube video. And I went, I'm buying that. I'm buying that. It comes with this and you're ready to go complete system so let's move this away a little bit and let's get into the comparison this is my little h1r nova o light now this thing puts out big time light okay i mean there is warp Oh, damn, warp factor right there. Okay. And then there's warp factor, and then it goes down to a little twilight. Okay, it's all programmable, has a belt clip. And the thing about O-lights is many O-lights have a USB charge that connects to the bottom via magnet. I've showed you my other O-light in other videos. And then you plug this into a USB and it charges. And then right here turns green or red. So you never have to take the battery out. Okay, here's the battery. So I'm just comparing, comparing this to this. 20 bucks for battery or under 20 bucks for batteries. Probably, I think under 20 bucks. Okay. And this is the size of that battery. This takes two of these. So there's, there's the difference, okay? But many times you don't need anything this elaborate. I come to find out, I thought this was sort of a pain in the butt in the morning. Because what do you do? You got a headband. Here's what I had to do. I'm going to use... A headlamp on my boat for five minutes 10 minutes on and off all right so what did I have to do well I had to stick it in the thing here and put it in the thing here slide it on up put it on take my hat off turn it all right, and then, okay, then I got a headlamp with a strap. Or I ended up never using this. I didn't like it. Too much stuff. So what did I do? Took my hat and I clipped it on. But look where the beam is shooting. Straight down. So what did I have to do? I'd have to put my hat on and tilt it way back to get the light up in front of me. Okay. So yeah, the Olight, fantastic product, 100% quality. With this charging system, man, you can't beat it. But maybe 20 and the batteries are maybe 20 for four. That's the reason I bought an extra light for myself. I even got one for my dad for his birthday and a set of 
batteries because he's always working on a motorcycle in a dark garage. But, okay, so now this whole system here, wonderful, weighs a lot more, is now, you're looking at 60 bucks, okay? I don't even use it. I don't even use it. I got it, don't use it. I didn't want to have to go through all this, okay? So Coast, if you're listening out there, I do not know if they do. I may send them this video, who knows? The UV light, I don't know. I'm not using any rubber worms and I don't have to charge anything up. I think that's what you can even use that for in the fishing world. But matching this little light that weighs nothing and easily goes right on the bill of your, your hat, goes right on your... I wear, you know, uh, T-shirts with a front pocket. I wear Dickie's T-shirts with a front pocket, and this fits right in the pocket. I can rotate it. But let me tell you, right on my hat was the deal. So there is the cool little Coast, the HX4 clip light. That's what they're calling it, red and white. I noticed right off the get-go, maybe it's my eyes. I don't know. But I needed the white light to tie knots. The red light might be good for standing there talking to somebody. The UV, the sep of course I can still use this. It's got white light and UV light. And the high trends, rechargeable batteries, wonderful pack of preparedness items, I guess you could say. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of product stuff that Captain Dave really likes. The links will be below. And I want to tell everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your comments on my last video where I went into a complete rant. I know sometimes we have to do that. But you realize out of that video and all your comments and all your prayers and wishes for my dad to get better from his surgery, which he's doing great, by the way. He may do a cameo appearance with his new scar running down his neck here sometime in the near future. But he's doing a lot better. And um, I learned so much from all your comments. So... Thanks for watching again. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Thumbs up.